Hi, I'm Kumkoza. In today's video, I'll show you 5 unique game mechanics that will distinguish your production from others in the Struck app. To perform the first mechanic, you will need two assets. By placing them in the right place you will create a burning fireplace that will not only stand but also add a realistic effect to the room where is added. The second mechanic in today's episode is Drop Loot. Thanks to this function, after destruction an opponent or asset like a tree, a specific item chosen by us will drop. Drop loot is an ideal mechanic for survival games, although it's really up to you where you use this feature. To use this mechanic, you must select the asset in which you want to enable this option. Then just follow the steps which was presented in the video. Do you have trouble with balancing equipment among players in your game? The solution to this problem is implementing a new mechanic that allows you to set player statistics and the type of weapons they can use. With this modification, you won't have to worry about adjusting statistics for each weapon individually while creating your game. After selecting a weapon, you can customize factors such as damage or shooting speed according to your preference. You can also set which weapon should be the first or second in your inventory during the game. Do you want to create a tactical FPS shooter in the style of games like Escape from Tarkov or Squad? Just set up assets at the right angles, and you will achieve compelling effects, even with basic resources, making your game more interesting. This will provide players with unforgettable moments in the world which you created. Can you hear this sound? Or maybe this one? That's right, nothing is happening, it's complete silence. If you don't want your game to be entirely without sound, just add an asset named Sound Bubble. This way, while moving through a specific area, like next to a bonfire, you'll hear the sound of burning wood. Now, Compare before and after adding the sound bubble asset. To add area sound, it is not enough to just drag the asset to the selected place. You also need to decide what sound is to be played and from distance the player can hear it. So let's add area sound together using the example of a fountain. By placing the fountain in the preferred place which we choose and adjusting its size. After start the game we will not hear any sounds that would indicate that it is actually there and working. To avoid this error let's add an asset sound bubble near fountain and then configure it. The first step that needs to be taken is to choose the sound that suits the surroundings. After all, we wouldn't want the player to hear the sound of the city while, for example, in space. The volume level can be adjusted using the slider or by entering a given value. After adjusting the volume, we can now select the water sound we are interested in. Also remember that you can change the sound range at any time by changing its parameters in the settings. If you liked the video, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a comment with a suggestion for the next video.